Hi there, I'm Amiko and welcome to Infinitari. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how you can keep your apartment clean and smelling nice even if you have a dog. Start with a clean dog. Give your dog a mini grooming section every day. This is very important because a little bit of daily cleaning goes a long way. Here's how Momo's daily grooming routine looks like. I clean his paws after every walk and I do it in the entryway before he can enter the living room to avoid dirty paw prints in the house. I wipe his mouth after he finishes his meal with damp cloth. Your dog's mouth will be covered with crumbs after eating, so it's important to keep it clean, especially if you are feeding wet food to your dog. I gently brush his fur every day for about 5 to 10 minutes, usually while watching Netflix. Tangled fur may trap dirt and causes bad odor, so you should brush regularly if your dog has long fur. Brushing also removes dead hair, so you will minimize the amount of hair sheds on the floor. I wipe his pee pee and palm after he pees and poos. Dogs don't wipe their buttocks after doing their business like we do, so please help them do so to keep it clean. I also brush his teeth every night before he sleeps to prevent dental health problems and bad breath. Spend few minutes every day observing your dog's behavior and inspecting his coat, eyes, ears, nails, just to check for any unusual problems. Prevention is better than cure, so the sooner the problem is noticed, the sooner it can be fixed. Apart from the mini daily grooming, you should give your dog a bath regularly, preferably every week. You can also engage a professional groomer if your dog needs special maintenance. When buffing your dog at home, use suitable shampoo and conditioner formulated for dog and rinse with lots of water to make sure there is no shampoo residue left. Always dry your dog after you give him a bath because wet fur will cause unpleasant odor. This is also a good time to clean his ears and give a little hair trim around his pee pee and bum area. These are parts that get smelly when not cleaned properly. Dog collar, leash, and harness get used outdoor pretty often. Keep them clean and dirt free by wiping them with damp cloth after every use. If you let your dogs wear dog clothes, socks, or other accessories, you should also wash them regularly. And speaking of dog accessories, recently Momo and I received a package from Bautix and we have the opportunity to try out some of their cute bow ties and a dog bandana. I love taking pictures of Momo every day, and this bow tie surely makes the perfect addition for an instant pop of personality to his photos. The bow ties and bandana that we received are just so adorable. I'm actually impressed by how well they are made. They are beautifully done and the materials used seem durable as well. Our parcel also includes a pair of matching earrings for me, which is super cool. Bautix's products are 100% handmade by a local animal lover and crafter here in Singapore. So if you are looking for cute little accessories for your dog or cat, you should definitely check Bautix out. They have variety of designs to choose from, so you will definitely find something that best suits your pet personality. It's perfect for a special occasion like birthday, wedding, holiday, or even just for every day. They can even personalize the banana by adding your doggy name, which is really adorable and it will surely make your dog stand out. You can get 10% off by using our special promo code INFINITIDY when you shop at Botix today. Every month, inspect your dog toys and discard any toys that are heavily torn, chewed, or if the stuffings are falling out. 
Every doctor is different, so use your best judgment when it comes to the method of cleaning your dog toys. Follow the cleaning instruction if the toys come with it. Generally, you can wash plus toys in the washing machine with cold or warm water. And for rubber, nylon, or plastic toys, you can wash them with dish soap and give them a good brush with toothbrush to remove any stubborn dirt and stain. Make sure the toys are completely dry before giving them to your dog. It is also a good idea to sunbuff the dog toys often in between washing. Don't forget to also clean the dog toys container while the toys are out to wash. Dog bed tends to accumulate dirt and get smelly pretty fast. Clean the dog bed often by sprinkling baking soda and wait for 15 minutes before vacuuming. Fluff the bed every now and then to even out the filling. If it comes with washable cover, wash the cover often. When the weather is warm, put the dog bed in the sunlight for at least 30 minutes to kill germ and keep it fresh. I run my robot vacuum every day and mop the floor at least 3 times a week. Before I mop, I will run my handheld vacuum around the house for a more in-depth cleaning and to catch dust and dirt in narrow spaces that are unable to be reached by robot vacuum. If you have rugs or carpet at home, sprinkle baking soda and let it sit for about 15 minutes before vacuuming. Baking soda will help deodorize naturally and loosen up the dirt trapped in between the fibers, making it easy to vacuum. If your dog is a lot on the sofa, clean the sofa too. It is important to clean your sofa every day if your dog sheds a lot. Living in a high-rise apartment, Momo is trained to use indoor body tray. There are few things I do to make sure his toilet doesn't release yucky smell inside my apartment. I change the pee pad every night before he sleeps. I wipe the pee tray with wet wipes every day or whenever I notice any stain. I wash the pee tray one or two times a week with soapy hot water and scrub it with brush. I pick up the dog poo and flush it down the toilet bowl right after he pooped. I spray deodorizer after every poo and few times during the day. If you want, you can also use scented pee pads or pads that comes with charcoal that will help eliminate the smell. If your dog makes any accident outside his toilet, clean up immediately. Place a mat underneath your dog's food and water bowl to help catch any spills and crumbs. I use this simple DIY elevated dog bowl using stackable self and final mat that also helps Momo eating more comfortably. Wash the dog bowls after every meal and change the water every day. Open your windows to circulate the air in your apartment for at least 20 minutes every day. Choose the time when the pollution level is at its lowest for a cleaner and breezier air, whether at night or early in the morning. Letting the fresh air in is the best way to carry off trap odor in the house. Invest on a good air purifier to help clean the air even more, especially if you have allergy. Air purifier will also help eliminate pet dander, dust mite, and filter out the air during hazy season. Last but not least, make sure you have doggy proof your home to avoid any unwanted chewing or scratching accidents. Don't leave stuff laying around on the floor that can pose a choking hazard. Keep any cords and plants out of reach. Discipline your dog since the beginning about what is okay and not okay to play with around the house. If needed, you can also use keep off spray that could prevent dogs from scratching, chewing, or destroying any treated surface. When raising a dog in a tiny apartment, a little mess is inevitable. So don't stress yourself out if you ever find your home to be untidy after having a dog. 
Start small by building a good habit every day, and don't forget to rest when you are tired. And so that's it. I hope you find something useful in this video, and please make yourself at home.